Hi, Etna. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi, sir. Good afternoon. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Etna. Okay. Uh, Archana, uh, you are which part of India? Sir, I am staying in the southern part of India, Bangalore. Okay. Bangalore. Okay. Yeah. Currently, you are staying in the Bangalore. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, you worked for four years in chemical industries. Yes, sir. You do manage with a lot of data using SQL, Excel, Tableau. For example, chemical industries. Uh, how will you define yourself? Uh, chemical industries are industries, uh, the uh, company which I'm working is uh, manufacturing raw materials, uh, which is used in uh, almost all the sectors of uh, the world. It uh, manufactures products for airlines, it manufactures products for agriculture, it manufactures raw materials for cosmetics, uh, for clothing. Uh, so it manufactures uh, for electronics uh, appliances. So the raw materials which we produce uh, in our company is used almost every uh, field of the world. Okay, how how could uh, you approach this uh, as a chemical industry? What is the use of data? How, uh, uh, yes, sir. So generally, if you tell now, this data is everywhere. But I I need to understand. Uh, as we are a technology company or a IT company, software company, they are using a lot of retail or finance company. But what is the use of data in chemical industries? Sir, uh, we are uh, in my profile, we uh, manufacture the data and we sell the products to uh, various end users uh, who will use our raw materials and manufacture the end products. So we uh, sell the product. So in my profile, I do uh, analysis of sales of those products in uh, uh, various regions of the world. So I handle data globally uh, for all the three regions, which includes MR, APAC, EMEA. So I take care of the sales of those uh, products. Uh, so I analyze the data for that. Okay, now we understood. You mean that uh, uh, you are a product-based company, your uh, seller, distributor, customer, uh, yes, is there sir. the data is generating from there? You are managing this data, providing the insight to the business leader, correct? Yes, sir. you're right. Okay, okay. all right. So, yeah, so uh, me and the team need to more understand about your education, your project involvement, your, what you've done in uh, last uh, for five years from your chemical industries, even your day-to-day uh, -day life. Can you please elaborate? Sure, sir. I'm very much glad. And I thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Good morning, sir. This is Archana Vishwakarma. And I am basically from North of India, but I'm residing in Bangalore, South of India from my uh, school days. So uh, I have been graduated in uh, Bachelor's of Computer Applications. Uh, from Indian Academy Degree College, which is also in Bangalore. Coming to my uh, daily work tasks, I log in and I open my emails. I check on the requirements or uh, any requests. So I interact with uh, various business uh, stakeholders, stakeholders, clients, and uh, different managers of my organization to understand the data and the requirement. And then I will start my analysis. So I have uh, expertise in uh, SQL. I, I have worked with various joints uh, in SQL, which includes left join, right join, inner join. And I have uh, also worked with various uh, clauses like where clause, having clause, group by, order by clause uh, to filter the data, which is required uh, based on the requirement of the client. And I have worked with various aggregate functions in SQL. Uh, also with uh, uh, in SQL. So I have also good knowledge in Excel, wherein I have worked with uh, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, uh, pivot tables, uh, creating charts and graphs uh, so that uh, it is uh, I can communicate the data uh, to the uh, client or the stakeholders or my managers uh, to have a better understanding and make better business decisions. Uh, so I also have a very good knowledge in uh, Tableau, uh, the visual visualization tool which I have used, uh, wherein I import data from various sources, like it can be Excel, it can be, uh, uh, the file can be in CSV format, or I can connect with the uh, SQL Server database to import the data, and then I do my analysis, and I do visualization and present data. 
uh, and report it to my managers or my clients. I also have basic knowledge in Python, uh, wherein I have used uh, different libraries like Matplotlib uh, and NumPy and Pandas. And whenever I have free time, sir, I I I spend time in reading magazine. Uh, I, I spend time in reading newspapers and uh, novels. Okay, nice. You have good exposure. A lot of data experience. I'm looking also same candidate. Okay. So when you see the data, well, how will define what, what do you mean data? Uh, sir, data is everywhere. Uh, yeah. As far as I uh, I understand uh, from my point of view, data is everywhere. Yeah. Everything, every day, every minute, data is generated, and uh, it is uh, we can uh, uh, form information from pieces of data. So, by collecting different pieces of data, we can gather together and we can make a meaningful information out of it. Okay. Uh, how do you define uh, and differentiate between data and information? Uh, sir, data are chunks of uh, uh, details. Uh, for example, if I say uh, uh, if I say uh, a pen, it's a data. If I okay. say a mobile, it's a data. And when I say information, uh, I I will uh, I will write down using a pen. So that will give a sentence and it gives a meaning. So that is information. Okay, you mean meaningful data is called a information. information. Yes. Okay. And when you, when you plan to data, suppose imagine you don't have a, a, this organization, they don't use previously any data concept, data management or data store. Uh, suppose uh, newly you hire for as a data analyst uh, for this uh, company, they never ever use data management concept. Can you give an approach where they start? What are the different uh, application tools, technique? Where you will start, and how will be uh, you know implement this process? Sir, when the company is never managed data, so I will initiate with Excel, uh, so yeah. that that is a basic thing, yeah. uh, which everyone can adapt to or okay. understand. I will ask them to uh, yeah, like uh, start working on Excel, storing the data. And then if they are okay, then I will approach uh, for SQL for storing yes. a huge amount of data. Yes. So that is a, a good option they can have and they can retrieve data based on, they can provide access to people who can access what kind of data or information. Uh, and then I also will advise them to use Tableau for a visualization purpose. So that will give more uh, better understanding of the data. Okay. Uh, it will be easy for them to know how the company is performing and where they have to improve. So these are the different tools. I will also advise them to use Python uh, for uh, scientific uh, or mathematical calculations to be done yeah. on particular data. So yes, sir, these are my approaches to the company. Okay, nice. So uh, like when you approaching this uh, application process and uh, when you are collecting, start collecting data, what are the uh, attribute or column we consider for your analysis purpose? I, I consider it is a B2B, sorry, it's not B2B, it's a B2C data. So the attributes, what I would consider when it comes to a particular, when I'm aware of uh, what data I collect, for example, I want to collect the customer information. So I will be using uh, the customer uh, uh, serial numbers, their names, their first name, their last name, their mobile numbers, their email addresses. And uh, uh, if they are requesting a product or they are customer of ours, existing customers, I would like to know what products they are buying. So I'll have a product column, product ID column. So these are like customer details, what I would uh, uh, consider for uh, customer uh, information table. Okay. Uh, imagine one table data is called con to contain attribute um, like a name, mobile number, email ID, bank account, city, country, state. When I'm doing sensitive data, how do you define and what are the column we will consider as a sensitive data? So for me, sensitive data is their mobile numbers and email addresses. Uh, because uh, they are for a customer point of view or uh, because they are very sensitive and also the bank information. Correct. The priority is bank information, yes. Okay. 
Yeah, in SQL, uh, you are telling what are the SQL joints? Can you explain SQL join? Uh, sure, sir. Uh, so there are uh, different kinds of joints in uh, SQL, uh, which are used basically to join two or more tables. Uh, um, there are two uh, different types of joints are left join, uh, right join, inner join, outer join, full outer join. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, what is set operator? Uh, I, I, what are the different set of? Sure, sir. So set operator also functions similar to uh, SQL joins. The only difference is that uh, uh, set operators will work on a rows, a row basis, and uh, SQL uh, joins will work on a column basis. Uh, the different types of set operators are uh, intersect, uh, uh, intersect, uh, I am. I am. Okay. I'm not remembering, sir. But I, I am aware, aware of those okay. things. I have used it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Nice. What is group by, and uh, why you are using group by? Okay. So group by is a um, function which we have in SQL, wherein we will. Uh, it will help us to group uh, a column having same values. So whenever it is used with a SQL as uh, select statements. Uh, so whenever we want to uh, have a count or uh, we want to, you know, uh, arrange a particular column which is having same values. So okay. we will use group by function. Okay. Do you have a pen paper with you? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So uh, like in my, uh, just to consider one table is called uh, name and uh, uh, that is called a gender and the cells this three column is there right name, gender name gender cells i want to see the sales value okay by gender wise okay so, so write i will write query. the query yeah. do you want me to tell or shall yeah, i you can it? you can approach here no problem you can okay, tell sir. so i will i will write a query like select name uh Select name, comma, uh, gender, comma, sale. Uh, sir, do you want me to write some of sale? Uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, sales? yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yes, okay. So I will write the syntax as select name, comma, gender, comma, sum of sales. Okay. I can give it as a table name is customer. Yeah, table name is from customer. table name from customer. Where uh, do you want me to have a uh, gender? Right? The value should yes. be displayed to gender wise. Okay, okay. Uh, where uh, where gender is equals to male. Uh, how come sum of value will be considered? Is that correct? Uh, what you are answering? Uh, sir, I will just. Just write now it we down. discuss about what group by correct? Yes, yes, yes. So, so we can use group by. It should be used. I think the best is a group by correct. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have knowledge on RDBMS? Sorry, sir. Relational database management system? Yes, sir. Okay. What is normalization? Sir, normalization is a process to reduce uh, redundancy and duplication of data and to improve the integrity of data. Data integrity. What is trigger? Sir, uh, trigger, is a, uh, trigger is a process which is... Uh, revoked whenever an event occurs nice very nice what is a fact table and a dimension what are the different fact and dimension uh, sir fact tables contains uh, uh, sir i am not primary able to key of a fact table content sir primary key of uh, dimension table. yes okay yes In Excel, uh, we are adding a slicer. What is slicer uses in Excel? Okay, uh, so slicers are used uh, for data visualization purpose in Excel. Mm. So that can be, uh, you know, we can connect different graphs which we have created or the dashboards what we have created in Excel and we can connect through slicer and we can view the data based on our requirement. Okay. How to create a calculator field in Tableau? Creating calculated field. Suppose any column is not does not exist. Uh, you want to create a field. How to create a calculated field in Tableau? 
sir i am not able to recall okay no problem so what is the difference in dimension and measure in table sir a dimensions uh, hold uh, uh, text values and okay. measures hold uh, quantitative values numbers numeric values what are the different type of data type available in table uh, we have a string uh, text data type we have date date and time uh, boolean values and geographical uh, data types okay which data type you are frequently using uh frequently we will be using uh, text uh, string data types uh, date data types uh, geographical data types boolean data types okay okay i think almost i done so uh, just want to few more question to understand why you are living you are enjoying you told i am enjoying my job again why you are living this current what is reason behind sir uh, i have worked i have spent four years of my uh, career uh, in this same company i really like the work culture over here and that was the reason why i continued uh, here the reason for my change is that i wanted to learn or uh, enhance my skills take new opportunities take new challenges in my uh, career to understand uh, various different tools used in different organizations uh so in general i wanted to improve myself sir uh, both uh, technically and uh, to uh, to uh, have a better uh, um, social uh, network to improve my network yes how, how will uh, you know uh, connect uh, how will tell that this role is currently you are applying and uh, is that this role is suitable for you yes sir i completely agree with the role uh, the company requires uh, because i have most of the qualities or expertise in uh, in uh, in my previous exp experience so i consider that this role is perfect fit for me okay whom are reporting uh, sorry sir whom are you reporting uh, for your uh, manager as well you are a director or in your team sir i report to both manager level and uh, to the vp to the director level also okay do you client interaction go uh no sir it is only internal and my yeah, manager internal my... it is an internal client and they are yes. uh, that is they are based on which country uh they are based on us and germany germany okay 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 you do handle german clients yes sir okay nice okay how soon you can join if you are uh, selecting how soon you can join so my notice period is 2 months but i can negotiate and and okay to join as soon how as how can possible. i negotiate one month uh, can you clarify us uh sir i can uh, tell them that uh, uh when i am in notice period obviously i will tell them that i have got a better opportunity i will try to convince them and um, i will negotiate the Do you think they will consider for two months notice for they will manage? The yes, buyout sir. option is there for you? Yes, sir. We do have okay. that option. Okay. Okay. That, 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 okay. Okay. How do you see yourself if you are considering from three years now? Sir, uh, from three years from now, I wanted to see uh, myself in a more senior level. Yeah. Uh, and I wanted to have interaction uh, with more higher management involving uh, in decision making of the company. Yes. why i will hire you sir i am confident i am quick learner okay. i am very much uh, um, very much open and uh, i am easy to approach okay. i love to interact with people and uh, i am a good team player okay nice sarchana nice to meet you i am feel very happy to connect with you so we will feel positive and we will consider for further step and the hr will get back do you have any question for us Uh, sir there is only one question what i have is that what are the different uh, or new projects which i would be working in in coming 12 months of this company okay so uh, as i already mentioned this is the fast interaction uh, when for the round is uh, going to be maybe in in this week the client and the, my senior level they can uh, you know the taking interview will get the more clear picture from there okay sir thank okay. you Yeah thank you have a good day